My Hero Academia has five chapters left in the series, and it just finished up its biggest arc, the war arc. There are a lot of moments I was looking forward to in this arc, one of them being the fights. Today, I'm going to go over my favorite fights in the final war of My Hero Academia. Spoiler warning for the recent arc. If you're new here, my name is You Know and Now You Know. If you enjoyed this video at any point, leaving a like will be appreciated. If you want to see more, feel free to kick back, stay a while, and hit the subscribe button. Now, on to the video. Number 10, Deku vs Shigaraki 2. The reason why this fight is so low is because I felt as though as we got robbed. This was the fight between the main protagonist and the main antagonist. I wanted to see a fight between them going all out. We were teased here and there with panels of them holding hands but never got that definitive fight, especially with the fact that Shigaraki was taking some of the quirks in One For All. I wanted to see how he would utilize them different in battle than how Deku used them. Now with that being said, the emotional stakes in this fight was great. I love the fact that Deku didn't want to accept the reality because he can't keep the gift from his greatest hero. Yet, he sacrifices it anyway because saving someone is way more important than him having a quirk. What a beautiful message this fight had. Also, Deku using the quirks and utilizing them in mind-blowing ways. I love that. Number 9, Shoto vs Toya. This was a great fight and one I was super excited to see in the series. Personally, I thought that Toya was going to kill Endeavor and then it would lead to the Shoto fight. But we got the Shoto vs Toya first. Two prodigies of the greatest firepower potential to surpass their father. Toya was completely unhinged throughout this whole fight. Well, throughout this whole arc to be honest. He was extremely heavy on the offense of this fight and Dabi showed how well versed he is. However, Shoto came back and was on top of his game even creating new moves like Icebound Crash, Cold Flame, Pale Blade, and the Great Glacier Aegir. We get to see a full circle moment of Shoto thanking Deku, telling him that this is now his power. Number 8, Yue vs Shigaraki. Building a floating counter for Shigaraki gave Yue the high advantage. This was their biggest plan to stop Shigaraki. However, a huge piece of their victory, Deku, was nowhere around so the heroes must stall and fight him in the sky. This fight was so much fun to read. The plan was nearly flawless. Having Monoma and Aizawa look at Shigaraki that way he won't be able to use his quirks, but somehow his body began to morph. His apex form looked insane. I honestly love that design. There were many star players in this plan, and we have to give a shout out to my wife, Miriko, going totally insane, breaking her body, losing arms, doing whatever to keep the pressure on him. This was the first time we got to see the UA's big three in action, and it did not disappoint. Sun Eater being the MVP out of the three, sending a cannon beam shot at Shigaraki. Then the man himself, great explosion murder god Dynamite. Not only using weapons, making himself a war tank, but elevating his quirk beyond what he can do and blitzing Shigaraki. The biggest moment was when he died on the battlefield. Shigaraki truly had done some damage in this fight. Number 7. The Todoroki Family vs Toya Endeavor and Toya was a fight that I really wanted to see. I had a feeling Endeavor wasn't going to fight much due to his mental state, but seeing him mentally and physically fucked was even better. Toya chasing down Endeavor, yelling, Dad, watch this, as flashbacks to when he was a kid hit Endeavor. That was a nice touch. He doesn't want to watch his son die, but Toya keep fighting, breaking himself apart. Then, Endeavor sees him with the ice cork. Everything he wanted was already inside of Toya, but greed got him to this point. Just when he tries to end it all, Rei, Fuyumi, and Natsuo joins in to stop him. I like this moment because each family member had a part to play in Toya's fall. Then Shoto, the family hero, rushes in. I love this moment so much of Ida rushing Shoto to the battlefield. Also, can we talk about how Shoto's at S tier with his quirk? He was using regenerating ice constructs to make a fighter jet to reduce the drag and creating a layer of heated air to reduce the friction. Mans was a genius with his quirk. But Shoto runs in, uses great glacier agar to stop the nuke his brother was becoming. Even at the end, Toya still declares his hate for his family, and Endeavor finally hugs his son again and apologizes to each family member. This by far was one of my favorite conclusions in the series. 
Number six, Heroes versus All for One. This was the Avengers Endgame moment here. All for One took over Shigaraki's body. Deku lost both of his arms. All hope seemed to be lost. Then we get portals. Portals everywhere of heroes from different battlefields. Eerie giving what could be the last of her quirk to help Deku regrow his arms. The panel where everyone was standing saying we are here got to be one of the best double page spreads in My Hero Academia. Years ago, I remember people saying that Deku was going to give his quirk to everyone on the battlefield. That way everyone had a one for all boost. Honestly, I don't think I would have liked that. I love that everyone was tired out from their previous battles, but still was able to stand against the biggest threat. I think it's poetic that all for one, someone who steals multiple quirks is fighting against people all coming together with their quirks. Everyone you can think of shows up in this fight and helps Deku secure the punch on all for one. On top of that, Shigaraki and Deku giving the final blow to all for one. This fight was truly incredible. Number 5, Deku vs Shigaraki 1. The fight I was waiting for, Deku and Shigaraki going at it. Last time they fought, Deku was a madman and made Shigaraki nervous. Now, this was the fight times 10. Also, he had access to all of the quirks in One For All. The entrance was incredible. Deku wastes no time slamming Shigaraki around. I do wish we got in a fight with Deku in his rage state, but once Mario calmed Deku down, he locks in. Even showing us the new quirk gear shift combining all the quirks together for an insane assault. I'm shocked that UA base was still floating after that fight. Number 4, Bakugo vs All For One. For over 40 chapters, Bakugo was proclaimed dead. But right when All For One had All Might in his hands, the great explosion murder god dynamite comes into frame. Him and Deku whips into action using his gear shift to speed Bakugo up to throw him into All Might to save him. With All Might safe, Bakugo declares that he is the final boss and starts his rampage on All For One, moving faster than he ever has before. I love seeing Bakugo's fights because he has such a flair to it when he's battling. This was no exception to that. I love seeing the Demon Lord with all his quirks fighting against Bakugo who said, the one quirk I have is enough. I've always said at the end of the story that Deku would have the title of the greatest hero and Bakugo will be the number one hero. This fight kind of proved that to me. Number 3, Endeavor vs All For One. If anyone can give All For One PTSD of All Might, it will be the current number one hero. Wounded heroes are always the scariest, and Endeavor gave us the showcase of a lifetime. This fight was incredible. Probably one of the most brutal beatdowns we ever gotten in a series. Slamming him to the ground, dragging him across the battlefield, even using heat vision. He beat All For One so bad, you would have thought his last name was Todoroki. But when we thought he sealed the deal with Prominence Burn, all for One comes back with Eerie's Rewind implemented in them. A great showcase from Endeavor. Number 2, All Might vs All For One. This was the fight I was expecting the least in this arc. I thought All Might should have died many arcs ago, but I ate my words after this fight because it was amazing. Many people were arguing that this contradicts Deku having a quirk and he can become a hero with the suit of armor. I understand why they thought that, but I feel like they're totally missing the point of the story. This was a great moment for All Might because it shows he not only was being the teacher to his students, but he was learning from his students as well. Using Class 1A as inspiration, this fight was one of my favorite last stands of the series. Number 1, Everyone vs All For One. This right here was my favorite battle of the arc. Honestly, after rereading it, this was such a sick all hands on deck fight. Everyone and their mother jumping into the fight. Inasa, a character that I really liked and I wish had more attention, hopped into this fight and became a powerhouse. I also love the banter between him and All For One. And not only him, we gotta give it to our big leads, Mount Lady. Shinso for controlling Makia, Tokoyami for unleashing the fury of Dark Shadow. All hands were on deck. This battle truly felt like a war. They pushed All For One to insane limits where he takes out the whole battlefield, Steel Hawk's quirk, and heads to Shigaraki. This was a great battle that I read over and over again. <laughs> And those are my favorite fights of the war arc in My Hero Academia. Let me know what was your favorite fight in this arc. If you want to see more My Hero Academia content, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I have more coming up. Thank you for watching and until next time, you know where to find me.